Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to create a custom ESS job. Now, what is an ESS job? So, an ESS job refers to enterprise scheduler job which are used to automate and schedule tasks such as running report or executing different processes. In Oracle Cloud, you can find lot of seeded jobs for different business processes. Now, we will create a custom ESS job that will trigger a BIP report to get the report output. Now for the BIP report, I will use this BIP report of supplier details that I have created in my earlier video. If you want to refer the BIP report creation, then do watch that video. You can find the link in the description. Now to create the custom ESS job, I will go to Oracle ERP homepage and in the top right corner, I can see settings and actions. Under that, I will click on setup and maintenance. Then I will go to task and click on search. Now I will search with manage enterprise and click on manage enterprise scheduler job definition and job set for financial supply chain and related applications. Now I will click on the create icon to create the ESS job. So here we have to provide all the details. So first of all, we have to provide the display name and the display name is nothing but the name of the ESS job that will be displayed when we trigger the ESS job. So I'll provide supplier details report and then we have to provide the job definition name. So I'll write SUP DET REP, which is the short form of supplier details report. Then we have to write the path and to get the path, I'll go to the report section and here under the report, I'll click on more and then click on schedule. And here you have to copy the path without the report name that is supplier underscore report dot XTO. So I'll copy from custom till supplier details report and I'll paste it here. Now we can choose the application, but it is optional. So I'll choose payables. Then all these fields are optional. Now for the job application name, I'll choose FSCM ESS as this is related to financial application. And for the job type, we have to choose BIP job type as we want to call a BI report. And for the report ID, again, we'll go to the report section. And now we have to copy the entire report name and paste it in the report ID section. Now I'll go to the parameter section and in our report, we have one parameter business unit. So I'll create that parameter. So I'll choose the create option. And for the parameter prompt, I'll write business unit. For the data type, we have to choose string and the page element, I'll choose text box. Now I'll save and close. Now we can see business unit parameter is created. Now to save the ESS job, I'll click on save and close. Now you can see we are getting the confirmation as your changes were saved. Now I'll click on done. And now to run the ESS job, I'll click on this navigator. And under tools, I'll click on schedule processes. Now I'll click on schedule new process. Now I'll click on this down arrow and click on search. Now search with supplier details report. Now click on search. So this is our report supplier details report. I'll select it and click on OK. Click on OK again. Now you have to provide the value of the business unit parameter. So I'll provide US1 business unit and submit. So you can see one process ID is generated and I'll click on OK. You can see our report is already completed with succeeded status. So I'll go down and this is the output document. So I'll click on this default document. And now you can see we are getting our report in PDF format, which is the default format. Now, if you want to schedule your ESS job, then while submitting the job, you can click on the advanced button. And here you can find the schedule option click on that. So here you have to choose 
the using a schedule option in the frequency you can see we have different schedule like hourly minute daily weekly monthly yearly and so on but currently we do not want that we want the ess job to be run on ad hoc basis so i'll click on basic option and now i want to add list of values for the business unit parameter and for that i'll go to the manage enterprise scheduler job definition page again and i'll search our custom ess job which is supplier details report and enter now you can see this is our ess job so i'll click on the edit icon to edit this ess job so as i mentioned that i want to add list of values for the business unit parameter so for this i have to go to the second tab which is manage list of values sources and here i will click on the plus icon to create the list of values so first of all we have to provide one application name so i'll click on the down arrow and go to search and search with financials and search now i'll choose financials common module here you can choose any application depending on the which module you are working then we have to provide the list of values name so i'll provide business unit list and in the lov type i'll choose user defined and then we have to provide the query that we will use to fetch the business unit so i'll write the query as select name from hr all organization units so this is the table to get all the business units now i'll save and close now i'll go to manage job definition tab and we'll add the list of values to the business unit parameter so business unit parameter is already selected i will click on edit icon and in the page element instead of text box now i'll choose list of values and then we have to search the list of values source so i'll click on the search option we have to provide the application name first so i'll click on the down arrow again and search so i'll write financial and search so choose the financial common module and for the list of values i'll write business unit list which is our lov then i'll search so i'm getting our lov i'll click on okay now i'll choose the attribute which is name and here you can see the available attribute is name and i'll click on the right arrow to move it to the selected attribute section then i will save and close and for the ess job i will click on save and close so you can see your changes were saved now i will go to schedule process again and i will click on the schedule new process now you can see supplier details report is already provided here as we just run this ess job now i'll click on okay and now you can see under the business unit we are getting the list of values of business unit so here i will click on search i'll provide us1 and search so i'll choose the us1 business unit click on okay and then i'll submit you can see we are getting the process id click on okay now refresh so you can see it is running now and now it is succeeded now i'll click on the default document and see we are getting the same pdf report output so this is it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video within your circle if you have any doubts or any suggestions put that in the comment section and do subscribe our channel thank you